All right, guys, I'm going to attempt to work my microphone and my umbrella together. We have an accident here at Sterling and Fifth Street in Highland San Bernardino area. Highland San Bernardino, there's a traffic accident. There's the car in the middle of the street <clears throat> right there. I'm going to try to hit the walk signal. All right. Oh, there we go. So there's the car right there. Oh, it's a bad one, man. So they already got the ambulance here. They're pulling out a stretcher. Oh. So, holy crap, destroyed that car. I don't know who hit him. Had to be somebody over here. I'm gonna have to look. I don't see a second vehicle. All oh, the second cars over there. So it looks like PD. Holy crap, dude. Yeah, she slammed into this car over here. That person's on the ground. Yeah, he's laying on the ground. He's moving around though, he's standing up, or she's standing up. So there's that car, I'm trying to hold it steady. Yeah, when you zoom in, it just starts shaking really bad. But uh, yeah, that's, this is a bad one, dude. Let's get over here and <clears throat> show you. I said PD were on scene, but that may be an AMR that was talking to them, not a cop. <clears throat> I don't see PD anywhere. <clears throat> but I do see AMR and the medic engines are here. All airbags went off in that car, it looks like. So it looks like they slammed, T-boned them in the back. Spun her car around right there in the intersection and this one went up here. <clears throat> looks like they're putting somebody on the stretcher but the person looks to be okay. It's definitely gonna have to get checked out. That was a bad one right there. So what happens when it rains, I just got off the, I had to get off the freeway in Highland and take the side roads because people on the freeway are just slamming their brakes. One person put on their four ways and then slowed down to 35 on the freeway. And cars are going around them on both sides at 70, 65 miles an hour. <clears throat> Safely, you know, but. Well, I don't know how safe it is to have to go around somebody that's going slow on the freeway, but there's a lot of people out here right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, it, and that car looks like it already has a spare tire on the back. Here at Highland, uh, uh, Sterling and Fifth in Highland, San Bernardino area. Um, I still don't see police on scene yet. So I don't know if it'll be the police or the sheriffs, although they did see, send San Bernardino 226. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Cold weather makes me cough really bad. <coughs> Hopefully you guys can't hear it. Somebody said, you got throat problems. I do with the cold. <clears throat> but um, if it was Highland here, it would have been 241 or 242. But that is 226. That's San Bernardino. <clears throat> so I guess what I'm getting at is I don't know if the San Bernardino PD or the Highland sheriffs are going to show up. <clears throat> Highland contracts with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department. And San Bernardino, of course, has their own city PD. I don't know which is going to show up here. We'll find out, I guess, when they get here. 
<clears throat> so he's having her come over to be checked out. She's walking, which is fine. Yeah, it's a good thing she's up and walking around. Uh, but he's going to have her sit right there and check her out. Looks like her leg may be hurt. She's just limping a little. Um, it is raining pretty bad here. They just put somebody in the ambulance, <clears throat> so they're going to check her out. And uh, somebody was put into the ambulance just now. I'm trying to work my umbrella. As you guys probably see the water coming off the top of my umbrella. He locked his car. <clears throat> so this vehicle here is total, totaled. totaled. Uh, they're both totaled. I mean, that's... To driving in the rain, a lot of people stopped, which is good. <clears throat> they got a Hummer here that stopped. <clears throat> Gas guzzler. You guys can probably hear my mic going. I don't know if I if it's catching the sound or not, but that's my mic rubbing against the umbrella handle. If you end up hearing that in the video, you'll probably hear like like a. A rubbing it's my microphone against the umbrella handle so I don't know if the video is picking that up or not but <clears throat> probably is I just realized it so the police have still not showed up yet it looks like somebody was probably trying to go through the light somebody who else was trying to go through their light and uh, somebody lost the race I guess Especially with this rain, like I said, people were slamming their brakes on the freeway and my brakes started getting a little slick, you know, because of the um, rain. I was like, look, jackass, get over in the slow lane or get off the goddamn freeway. You know, he was about to, he had people going around him slamming their brakes. It was like, if you can't drive in the rain on the freeway, then stay off the freeway, you know. Now, I've been out here for seven minutes. <clears throat> I got here right as the ambulance and the fire department were showing up, probably about eight minutes ago, nine minutes ago. Still no law enforcement. Still no law enforcement representation here. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna, I'm waiting before I leave. I know we pretty much got most of the accident now. But right now I'm just waiting to see how long it takes for law enforcement to arrive. I want to see what priority this is. Oh, well, they've got it handled, the AMR and the medic engine. Okay, downgrade it to a priority five. Now I'm standing here, I don't know if you can see the ground. Look at all the plastic and the glass. I don't know if that's from this car or not. If it is, holy moly, it's all over the place here. So if that's from this accident, it flew everywhere, plastic and glass. So <clears throat> the ambulance is getting ready to take them. I don't know if they're going to Redlands Community or St. Bernardine's. They're heading in that direction, though. But the person was okay. Uh, I mean, they were awake and alert and everything, but they're definitely gonna have to be checked out. That was a bad one. Um, still no law enforcement. Coming up on nine minutes now. So it's been about 10 plus minutes that this accident occurred. No law enforcement. Well, they don't have anybody available right now. And maybe they don't need law enforcement. You know, maybe I'm being critical because the ambulance handled it. The medic engine is out here handling it. They're going to need a tow truck, though. They're going to need one who can get both cars or two tow trucks. So I did get a new cable for my mic. What I had to do, because my other uh, microphone cable is frayed, you know, plugging it in, unplugging it all the time. But I have a USB to lightning connector. It's a little plastic thing with a USB port and a lightning cable. It's about 
three inches long coming out of it. So I went to Staples. I couldn't find a micro USB to lightning cable. So I got a micro USB to USB cable, USB A. And I uh, <clears throat> plugged the USB A into the port on the connector and then plugged the lightning connector into my iPhone, if that makes sense. Because my microphone is a micro USB connection. My iPhone is a lightning connector. So you need a special micro USB to lightning and I don't think they sell those no more. Everybody uses USB C type C. So I just ended up getting a micro USB to USB type A and then plug the type A into this connector port and with the lightning connector on it and plug that into my iPhone. So it works. I have a brand new cable, so to speak, on my microphone connected to my phone so that I can talk to you guys. Because I noticed some of the cop watches I did last night, a couple of moments there, you couldn't hear what I was saying without my microphone. And I was trying to talk without shouting into the phone. <clears throat> it looks like another ambulance is coming, unless that's a cop. That may very well be law enforcement right there. Sounds like an ambulance, though. So are they sending one for her, then? If that's an ambulance, are they sending one for her? <coughs> yeah, that doesn't look like Popo. Although it may be. If it is, it's the sheriff's coming from that direction. So the San Bernardino County Sheriff out of the Highland substation. Coming up on 12 minutes. That uh, looks like an ambulance. We'll see when they get here. Yeah, I think it is an AMR. <clears throat> so maybe they call one for her. But uh, <clears throat> that's the car right there. And then the other one's sitting over here. No, that's an ambulance. So did they call one for her then? Is she going to go to the hospital? I know her leg was hurt. <clears throat> wow, that lady almost got hit by a car. <clears throat> so here we go. Yeah, They must have called one for her. There's your car. They're going to light it up with their headlights. Let me get up here for you. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's the car. Yeah, the girl is walking around. So that's good. That's a good sign. Because that's a bad accident right there. <clears throat> so <sighs> Yeah, do you guys see uh Pug Face Media's video of the guy that was like going off? And I was reading some of the comments and uh, <clears throat> several of the commenters or a few of the commenters were thinking that it was just some crazy guy screaming at Johnny 5 -0. But you have to listen to what he was saying, not how he was saying it. Uh, he said something about, and they took my debit card too, you know. And <clears throat> So apparently I'm guessing that Johnny had told him he was a cop watcher and that he was watching the popo. And that the guy started ranting about the police. You know, that's what I'm guessing. So, but it's like, um, I think it's like pug face media when citizens attack or something like that. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I guess the guy was pissed off at the cops, man. They took his debit card and shit. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if they did do that, that one of the Leos tried to use it. 
<laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. I know I heard a cop one time uh, in Texas. He was uh, out on a suspected fraud theft. And uh, our identity theft, not fraud theft, <laughs> identity theft. Here's Popo. And uh, he basically started reading one of the debit cards over his police radio. And then he said, it expires on da-da-da. The code is, he gave a three number. I'm like, this guy's an idiot, man. And I was listening on my police scanner. Now, if I wasn't honest, I could have wrote all that crap down and used his card. <clears throat> so the San Bernardino police are here now. It is going to be San Bernardino. Maybe that's what they were doing, trying to decide. But it is 15 minutes. So since it's San Bernardino PD, this guy may have been all the way over on the other side of Waterman. So that's a that's not a bad response time. It's really not. If it was Highland sheriffs, I'd be a little skeptical as to where they were coming from but 15 minutes 16 minutes actually it's not too bad of a response time for a traffic accident they probably told him to downgrade it that there was no major injuries <clears throat> you know looks like some minor injuries are going to the hospital to be checked out both drivers are going to go in the ambulance so That's going to be it for me because there's really no reason to stay. All they're going to do is have tow trucks come out now. Both drivers are going to the hospital. So they're just going to have tow trucks come out and tow the vehicles. Thank you, guys.